welcome. This is Melissa Armour with Stocks Watch. I'm reviewing the market. So again, I don't think anything's going to change the market between now and maybe Friday. Again, we have some earnings out Friday that could affect the market, but it looks like the market is finally going to rally and break out, which I thought it would last week and attempted to do it. Didn't make any sense that it fell, made no sense at all. And then now here we are again. So again, I like the market higher. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't continue at this point. Again, earnings are coming up in the next month. They will affect the market. That's true. And then after that, we have the election in November. But let's face it, this market, every time it, it flirts with selling off or falling, never does it. So I think the Qs are going to make brand new all-time highs. And they could even do it in the next two weeks. So the previous high was 503.52. Seems like a long time ago. It was back in July. And again, I love to short. I'd love to short this market. It's just not happening. So you either play the market long or you don't play it at all. And again, it should have happened last week, but this is one thing and one of the reasons I prefer to short rather than go long. Longs take longer to go. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if you're doing a call. I don't care if you're doing a day trade. I don't care if you're doing a swing trade. Longs take longer to go. That's just the way it is. I wish it was something different, but that's just not the case. So, you know, again, you have to be more patient with longs. You know, it's just one of those things. So looking for the market to finally get over the next area, which is 490, 490. We're not there yet. We're getting close. Again, we got four more hours left today. I mean, you know, it looks like we're probably going to gap up tomorrow morning, to be honest with you. So tomorrow's Wednesday. We'll see. Good luck, everybody. And let's have a very strong, solid week.